Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, well, it's a, a real honour for me to be here, and uh, I didn't realise I made so many films, <laughs> right? But uh, it was very difficult to pick films out when uh, we was asked which ones were my favourites. So I think they all are, in a way, uh, whether they're good or they're bad or whatever, but you have great memories of films you made. And uh, this film, Sexy Beast, I've got a hell of a lot of memories in this. We were filming in a village on a beach just outside El Maria in uh, Spain. And uh, my prep for the film was to eat as much pasta as I could, drink as much vodka as I could, and lay in the sun. And, uh, and they pay you for it. Uh, it seemed like a normal Friday for me, but there you go. But um, most of the film, the only part of this film is about waiting for a, a monster to turn up, really, a nightmare. And it's more or less, it mirrors what actually happened to us because Ben was supposed to join us from day one and he was making a film in America and they wouldn't release him. And so we had to keep changing the schedule. And so each day we came, we were waiting for Ben, this monster, Gandhi, to turn up, <laughs> you know, who was gonna play this psychopath. And we're all saying, I don't know, you know, Gandhi playing the psychopath, I, I, is it gonna work? And we spoke to a hell of a lot of actors before this, you know, we thought about who's gonna play this guy. I was actually offered the part of Ben's and I wanted to play Gary. I felt I'd played these kind of parts before and uh, and I kind of liked Gary. I, I felt I understood the difference between a gangster, which Ben is not really in real life, but I mean in the film, <laughs> Uh, and and a thief, you know, and and I felt I wanted to portray that, and I had other ideas how to play the part, and it was a guy with Tourette's, and it was quite interesting, but they didn't see it that way. So I settled for Gary, and I'm really glad I did because I really enjoyed playing Gary, but and I also enjoyed playing opposite Ben, and learnt a lot from the man. Um, in this film, we also have which I consider one of the best actresses in this country who doesn't do enough films for me, is Amanda Redman, who is a wonderful actress. And we were lucky enough to have two fantastic writers in David and Louis, um, which I've been lucky enough to work with since on 44 Inch Chest. Uh, we didn't change one word of this script. It's very unusual. You get a script usually and, and they're great, but you have to maneuver them a little bit you know sometimes i don't read through it doesn't work for you it doesn't work for the character but with this this is word for word as was 44 inch chest as i said earlier i can think of many films that i loved making and there's there's a lot of them they're not always good but you have great memories of them i have wonderful memories of this film and uh i hope you enjoy it i'm sure you've probably seen it before but um it's a film you can watch and watch again um and you, you know it's past. It's the one thing we I do remember about this film was we've, with the bit with the nightmare with the rabbit. There was a lot more of the rabbit in the original script, but we had a, an art designer on this film who made the only green swimming pool in Spain, and we had a lot of problems with the art side. We went out to the desert to film one day, and it's a it's a scene about a table about me sitting at a table eating breakfast while a rabbit turns up on a donkey and he forgot the table. So we had to go all the way back. So we lost a day. And when you lose a day on a film, when you've got a budget like that, you lose quite a hefty part of the script. But the geniuses we were working with managed to pull that round. And I still think we've got a fantastic film in. As Spielberg said to me when I worked with him, as Spielberg said to me, that's great. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, name drop there. But, um, but he said, this is one of the most accomplished films he'd seen as a filmmaker. And I think that goes to the genius of of Johnny from Glazer, you know. This was his first film. First feature right? film, yeah. And he'd done videos and stuff like that. And that yes, he had. But I've got to tell you, a lot of the, the um, directors, I've worked with about 20 first-time directors. And what I love about first-time directors, they, they don't know the rules, so they break them, you know, and they invent. And that's Johnny from Glazer for you. Um, one of the best, as you said earlier on. Um, he doesn't make enough films because he likes being on them from the beginning, the writing, all the way through. 
and I guess he, he's probably a very wealthy boy and he can afford to do that. But I think he's a wonderful director and I think um, this, is, this is, if I had to say a favourite film, this is one of them at least and I love it. So thank you all for coming. I'm very honoured to be here. Enjoy the film. Thank you.